North Carolina, y'all, North Carolina, man, y'all showed out. Y'all know I gotta come back and do it again. Greensboro, you next. <laughs> What's happening, family? Welcome back to my Black Universe. I'm out everything on the bed. I'm actually packing to leave back to Funkertown, Fort Worth, Texas. But, Riley Durham, you owe me nothing. Look, y'all showed up. You showed out. The food was bomb. The people were bomb. Uh, I enjoyed myself. In fact, I enjoyed myself so much that I had to zip out there to Black Friday Market. Black Friday Market in downtown Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Um, and they, <laughs> they hit me back actually. So they had a, so I, I went out there earlier, um, cause I wanted to get out there cause I knew I was going to meet up with a friend this evening. Um, and you guys see the video. This is actually the day before you see the video or two days before you see the video rather. And I was like, you know, meet up with a friend, let me go out there now. So I zipped out there, went out there, uh, went in, didn't know what to expect. But it was super awesome, super dope, so dope. I even got a chance to do an interview with one of the owners. What's going on, family? It's your boy Big Big from My Black Universe. Look at all this black magnificence. Look at that. We got Miss Jasmine background. We are in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yes, Is that correct? Downtown. Downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. Look at black folk. Well, we. <sighs> Somebody's a huge Drake fan, evidently. Oh. We're here at Black Friday Market. You know what time it is. So we're gonna get a real quick interview with one of the owners of this establishment, Miss Jasmine. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. MJ. And Miss J, she you gonna you gonna pop in for 25 seconds, okay? All right. So why a Black Friday Market um. in Raleigh in downtown? Why not? <laughs> that's actually very, that's a very good answer. Um, trying to bring some life back to downtown. Okay. Spice it up, give it some color. To a Black on the block. Okay, it's okay. Our podcast coming, but we just want to give an opportunity for business owners, startups, anybody that might have lost a job, lost a building last year, a space. Wow. Where you're safe and you can sell your products. So... You pretty much bring them in here. We sell them for you. <laughs> That's what's up. That's but, what's up. And we give you 100% of the proceeds. So it's pretty much building up the community, strengthening the community. Okay. And promoting, circulating the black dollar, generational wealth. We do have kid entrepreneurs in here as well. Dope. So. So how, how does a, a black-owned business get in touch with you? Let's say they let's say they all the way in California. How they get in touch with the dynamic duo? So we are on social media at BLK Friday Market. Um, you can also contact us at the store, 919-582-9446. Okay. Website, blackfriday.market. Or just pull up, 23 West Hargett Street. <laughs> That's what's up. If you're up. in town. That's what's up. And they're on, they're on the corner. So if we hit on West, uh, Hargett Street, they're on the corner. Because I, I did pass them up. I was drove right past them. I was like, what, what in Black the world? So um, they're over here now. Now. What all do you do outside of having a store? So, we also run the Black Flea Market, which is a big part of how this came in, came to play the store. So it's your pop-up version. Um, last year, we started in 2020. Okay. With 50 plus Black-owned businesses, bi-weekly, coming out. Um, the community comes out, supports very heavy, food trucks, a little bit of everything. So the Black Flea Market runs twice a month, or no, bi-weekly, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, wow. Um, so depending on where you're at, you can always, we're always here to support you. So if you're not quite ready for a store, but you can come to a flea market and sell, come test out your products there. Um, if you're ready for a store, come to the store, have your labels. And if you're not ready for any of those and you're just starting up, Official Black Dollar is also our partners. And that is nice. a directory. Okay. In North Carolina. Are they also on social media? On social media at official black. Dollar. I will throw that in the uh, description below. I'll put all the social medias in the description below. Uh, you have a website as well? Website, uh, blackfleamarketnc.com. 
and we are also have a business, Clean Hustle Entertainment. It's for event coordinating. Awesome. But yes. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to put all that down in the description below. Make sure you guys go follow. Hit them up if you have a business and you're trying to get uh, your product moving. Uh, these sisters are doing amazing things out here. Uh, they showed a lot of love. North Carolina, stand up. You know what it is. And Peace. Tony, Tony said, we have Tony. He's here. He Tony, makes, Tony. These. <laughs> he makes the rugs. He, the rugs. he makes the rugs. He's okay. He's our architect, and he did all of these um, shelving and everything. All the pictures together. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yes. All right, family. Peace. All right, family. So we're going to give a shout out to Miss Jasmine for the interview. Also, there are other owners of this business along with Miss J. As you saw in that portion of the video, there's also another Jasmine, a Dominique, and a Kayla. So, yeah, man, it was just super dope. And uh, my experience there, and they were just so eager and happy to help me see how they had all these different black owned businesses in one shop a one stop shop that you can physically go and see the wares uh put your hands on it so to speak you know it's covid don't don't mean to put your hands on everything but you get to see things uh in real time and you know what I'm saying and and purchase and have the items right there you don't have to wait on the shipping so if you're ever in the raleigh durham area make sure you head down to 23 west haggard street Raleigh, North Carolina, that's 23 West Hargett, Hargett Street, H-A-R-G-E-T-T -T Street, my bad, Hargett Street in Raleigh, North Carolina, downtown. They are actually on the corner of Hargett. Um, so if you're going down there, it's a lot of one ways. You know how downtown is, a lot of one way streets. So if you pass it up, it's all right. You can find parking around the corner. There's actually a lot of parking in there within like a three to four minute walking distance of a lot of the parking surrounding areas. So do it that way, uh, go check that out. And in fact, I went when I went back, I went back this evening uh, for the tequila and the bee. Tequila and a bee. So it's kind of like a, a, a play on words of tequila and a bee. So we had tequila and a spelling bee. And here's a little bit of footage of that. Hold up! You got it right. <laughs> 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 so I enjoyed myself. Afterward, we chopped it up. That's when I learned about the other uh, owners, as you can see in this thumbnail, all the ladies that are part of this that made this happen. So make sure you go downtown, 23 West Hargett, Street in Raleigh, North Carolina. Support. If you're a black owned business, you already saw the portion from Miss Jasmine's interview. You can always go back and look at it again. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. And I say, North Carolina, y'all, North Carolina, man, y'all showed out. And I gotta come back and do it again. Greensboro, you next. Charlotte, you next. Show me some love. You know what I'm saying? Let me know where to go. So when I come back out here, we already know what to do. Love you guys.